Hi, I'm Tim Wurgel. When choosing your next mayor of Henry County, it's important to understand that the mayor realizes that all corners of Henry County are equally important. From the northwest corner of Cottage Grove to the southeast end of Springville, that the folks from Buchanan, Henry, Puryear, and the Parish Landing area all have their part of the county. And to break it down even further, let's not forget about the little communities of Jones Mill, Como, Elkhorn, Mansfield, Country Junction, Pleasant Hill, Oakland, and yes, the people who live within the city limits of Paris. They are all Henry County citizens, all of whom have their lists when it comes to wants and needs. And guess what? Each and every one believes that their desires belong at the top of that list, even though towns like Cottage Grove, Puryear, and Henry have their community leaders. Those leaders are looking to their county commissioners and the mayor to help bring those wants and needs to a reality. Communicating and most importantly, listening to each and every individual is a key ingredient when serving others. I know firsthand when someone reaches out, they are looking for a result that at the end of the day is going to give them the outcome that they are looking for. I could talk like an old politician that said, I'll put a chicken in every pot and a new car in every driveway. But we know that's just talk. It's easy to say Tim doesn't care or Tim let us down when we don't get the desirable outcome we're looking for. During my tenure serving as a county commissioner and as your state rep, we were not always successful with fulfilling those wants. But it's not because we didn't care. It was because it wasn't feasible at that time. But the little things like allowing Cottage Grove to remain the smallest incorporated little town in Tennessee, the numerous people we helped attain their unemployment, others who needed help with insurance, safety issues along our state highways, and what department had to call when they had a personal problem. Then there's the big ticket items, like seeing the start of a four lane highway heading north to Murray. That has been a dream of Henry County since the 1980s. The successful attempt to have a new Paris Landing Inn when we were going to only have an empty lot in our state park. The ability to bring in over $500 million during that tenure. Monies that went to infrastructure, job recruitment, new roads, and expansion of businesses, grants for revitalization, adding to improving downtown Paris and broadband to the outlying rural parts of the county, monies to help small communities with housing projects, library expansion, and to help our driving testing center stay right here in Henry County. These are all issues that were important to the continued progress of Henry County. We still have issues that need to be addressed. We still have needs for outlying communities that need to be addressed. And yes, we still have all those wants. But it takes strong leadership to separate wants from needs. Someone that understands there are bumps in the days ahead. Tough decisions have to be made. Keeping a strong fund balance to address those bumps is vital. Having the experience, the backbone, the passion to keep Henry County moving forward is what is needed most. When making your decision on whom you will vote for to be the face, the voice, the leader, the next Henry County Mayor, I trust your decision will not be based on a letter next to a name, or whom you went to school with, or who you worship with, whom your father or mother is, but it will be based on who is ready to serve on day one. Someone who will give it their all. Someone who will listen. Someone whose door will always be open. And someone who will bring passion to the office of the Henry County Mayor. Someone who cares about the future of Henry County. I believe that I am that person. I'm asking for your vote for the Henry County Mayor in the November election because I believe I am the right leader for the right time.